There is nothing like it. RVing the Bay Area DVD has now been released. RVing the Bay Area is first a guide for RVers. Where to go, see, and do, and how to get there. But it's also a documentary telling the story of what might be the most creative place on Earth. From the early explorers to the gold rush to the forward edge of the world's technology. This is RV Dream New Radio and we're in Mountain View, California today and we're at the Computer History Museum. And Chris, your last name is? Garcia. Garcia, Chris Garcia. Yeah. And, and you're going to be our guide today. Yep, yeah, indeed. I'm one Take of the curators. Us so. What's the concept? What, what is the basic philosophy of why this exists? Well, this is for a number of reasons, but the most important is in, actually in our uh, mission statement. It's that uh, to preserve and present the artifacts and stories of the information age. And, you know, the, the computer itself just it introduced into every field of human endeavor. Right. And that has changed everything. The story part of the DVD tells you about not only the invention of the computer, but the beginning of motion pictures, radio, the reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder, and television in the Bay Area. The children of the gold rush spawned worldwide revolutions in music, literature, theater, and art that is evident all over the Bay Area today. This guide will help you bring that story alive as you visit here. RVing the Bay Area is a two DVD set. Each disc contains about four hours of video. Disc one is almost all about the city of San Francisco. Now Exploratorium, what year do you know what year it started? Yes, so we opened in 1969. Frank Oppenheimer was the founder of the museum and we were famous in... Famous New Yorker. Yes, yeah. yes, and he came this out here. The most famous building was constructed in 1972. When it was finished, it was the tallest building west of the Mississippi. It has 48 floors. At 853 feet high, the pyramid is still there. Thank you. This is RV Dream New Radio, and guess where we are? We are in the executive offices of the San Francisco Giants and just got off the ferry with a fantastic ride. And we have been treated so kindly by Shana Dom. Thank you for letting us come here sure, and welcome. do this. We wanted to tell the RVers out there how easy it is to get to a Giants game. We are one of the most publicly transit accessible ballparks in the country. You can get here by boat, by bus, by bike, by foot, by train. I don't know of any By place. RV. We even welcome RVs. Now you were telling us about it. You can find new places to go with coverage on 18 RV parks all around the Bay. Well, the location around here is wonderful. Um, you have the ocean right here. The uh, gentlemen are fishing right off the jetty. You can take a bike ride right in front of our bike path here. You can walk down to the restaurants and the shops. And um, There's a go, ton of restaurants down there. A ton of restaurants. Great restaurants. The park is Moon Bay RV Parking Campground, okay. right next to Cameron's Pub. Yeah, but this is kind of the... When you're staying at the RV park, you kind of have this too. This is a community gathering area. There's a fire pit, there's volleyball, horseshoes, uh, electricity, water, and dump on every spot. Yep, yep, yep. Sewer, then, sewer, water, electricity, and of course we've got 30 amp spots, 50 amp Restrooms, dry saunas, um, massages, we have a spa, a restaurant, corporate events, um, our own activity center. We have cabins, we have tent bungalows, we have lodge rooms. It's really nice. Now is there a pool? Sites and back up right under the bay, too. Yes, we do. Yeah, we have 12 sites in our north row. Right. And then you've recently added some new bathrooms and so on. You've sort of remodeled them. We remodeled the whole back section of the park. Um, and that does include a new bath facility that has individual bathrooms as opposed to the standard dormitory style of uh, restrooms you find in a lot of parks. Right. So it's it's and a nice a clean minute park. walk to the ferry, just under a mile. Yeah, so that really is walkable, isn't it? Oh yes, that's absolutely. that's one of the key things. Is you can get a little locks per ferry. That and the and the bus, and it's about a ten minute, little, little less than a half mile to the bus stop. That will also take them into San Francisco and bring them back. So another on Bay Area golf courses. Uh, gosh, uh, not that yeah. comes to mind immediately, other than uh, it's just a beautiful place on earth, and you know, everyone that comes here. Please, um, you know, with that in mind, 
Uh, the first half is pretty hilly. Uh, if you go up to like uh, the number six, we have a wedding site out there with a gazebo. And the views out there are just tremendous. You're it really going like to love it when you get out, out there. It looks like uh, a very beautiful down. golf course. It is. It's a scenic golf course. So a lot of uh, shots from the ocean and so on? Correct. There are. Uh, there's a viewpoint behind the fifth green where you can see the Farallon Islands, assuming the fog is not there. Really? 27 nautical miles. Right. Uh, plenty of views of the Golden Gate Bridge. Plenty of views of the coastline the towards Pacific. Coming along, two of the tougher holes coming in to finish your round. And is there water, or quite a bit of water on the course? Yeah, it comes to play in about, I think, six or seven holes out there. I would actually describe the golf course as pretty And a chapter on how to get around, targeted to our beers. Another important highway in the Bay Area is Highway 1, which follows along the coast from Santa Cruz until it hits Daly City, and then it also heads inland and becomes 19th Avenue through Golden Gate Park until it joins with 101 over the Golden Gate Bridge. Also important is Highway 35. The San Francisco the cable car highway. system is the world's last manually operated cable car system. The cable cars are listed on the National Register of Visit to San Francisco should not be without at least one ride on the beautiful ferries. Laurie Armstrong of San Francisco Travel, whose job it is to know everything about San Francisco, is a special guest. I'm the Director of Media Relations for the U.S. and Canada for the San Francisco Travel Association. I have the best job in the world. Really? Tell me why it's the best job in the world. Oh gosh, I have the best city to promote. This is such a fascinating, fascinating city. You know, it's, it's always changing, it's always developing, it's always you know, something new and different and crazy is going on. Plus, it has such an interesting history. Disc 1 tells you all about such features as the Golden Gate Bridge, the Embarcadero, Land's End, Golden Gate Park, and all other famous San Francisco locations and how to get there. Disc 2 is all about the rest of the Bay Area. We begin by taking a trip down the coast from Land's End all the way to Santa Cruz. There is only one city in the world that has more dead people than living people. Where is it? The answer is Colma, California, just 15 minutes from Pillar Point RV Park. Colma is the city for cemeteries for San Francisco. Gotcha. So all these that you were pointing out over here, these are all, all party boats. You call. All party boats, yeah. And they all going to cost you about $100 a day for salmon. And the, and the rock cod are probably going to be uh, maybe $80, $80 or $100 a night. Oh. It just depends. I'm not sure what this one is going to be. It's one of the most beautiful places in the entire world. We've got the ocean, we've got the hills. It's just, it's not overly populated. We've got fresh air, great place to visit. Half Moon Bay has a lot of history. It's, uh, it, Half Moon Bay used to be the, the other Tull's side. Lighthouse the on the West Coast is just 22 miles south of Half Moon Bay. The Pigeon Point Lighthouse is also a hostel. You can tour the grounds and view the lighthouse, although it is in disrepair and you cannot go inside. While dogs are not allowed on the lighthouse... Then we give you highlights of Silicon Valley. There's the large amusement park at Great America. Right next door is the new Levi's Stadium, where the NFL San Francisco 49ers play. Further south, just east of San Jose, is a huge water park slide area known as Raging Waters. Then not very far then over to the East Bay as far as Fairfield, Rio Vista, and Old Sacramento. And then uh, with the gold rush, all these people got off the boat, and then they went up into the foothills where the gold was, got the gold, and came back down through going to get on a ship and go home. But they stopped in Sacramento where we had built 200 saloons, 50 hotels, and one bathhouse. We were a little stinky in those days. <laughs> but drunk, we didn't care. Well, yeah, we had many refreshing beverages. <laughs> <laughs> right. And that's sort of the background of uh, Sacramento. Mark Twain <coughs> said, you can't trip in Sacramento without falling in a saloon. Then up to Sausalito, Marin, Napa, and Sonoma. The weather's pretty awesome. The scenery's unbelievably beautiful. Um, it's really laid back. It's a mellow place, really, you know, agriculturally centered, so it's very mellow, great food, great wine. Um, Gurgich. Gurgich, Gurgich Hills. And you were just, uh, we saw your sign saying wine stopping, and you uh, you said you're the only one who offers that daily. As far as, we, yeah, now they'll, they'll do special events and so on, but open daily, and that means when we're open, we're open seven days a week here, uh, you can come stop grapes. You can sort of, and everyone remembers Lucy uh, from the, you know, I love Lucy's. 
I'm amazed at how many people. Oh, how many? I absolutely love it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Finally, there are also RV rental portal sites like Vacation RV Rentals, Camper Travel USA, and My Drive Holiday. These sites work with many RV rental companies and promote that they can find you the best vehicle at the best price from all the companies if you book through them. When deciding which company you're going to rent from, there are many things to consider. First, of course, is whether you want a Class A, B, or C, a camper van, or travel trailer. Besides the base price, check and see if you have to pay for every item you need. When you purchase RVing the Bay Area DVD, you will also get a free membership in the private website RVingTheCaliforniaCoast.com Bay Area. Here you will have quick access to phone numbers, addresses, and directions to every location talked about on the DVD. If you are visiting or just interested in the Bay Area, you'll want this. We'll rush your copy of the RVing the Bay Area double DVD set to you immediately. Order your copy of the RVing the Bay Area double DVD set from our secure servers at RVingTheCaliforniaCoast.com. Feel free to call us for more information at 626-817-2346.